Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all hollers in. And we're back with another NBA 2K25 next gen build video. And one of my subscribers asked me for a point forward build. And this build right here is a really good build, man. But there are some things that I don't like about the point forwards. But overall, it's a great build. And I'm going to show you guys the build. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you how I create this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time. And I need you guys to go down there, hit that like button, get this video to 100 likes. And as you can see, we have the build that's small for it. Um, 6'6 is the height of this build. You can go 6'7 if you want to. That's totally up to you. I'm not against any height you choose. I'm just giving you like one of the best heights in the game. 225 on the weight. Um, we do have good strength. Now keep in mind, if you want your caps to go to a certain number, you have to leave some space so if you want to put that plus five somewhere and you don't have space you can't put it there okay so you have to have space in the category that you want to put the plus five at or plus whatever you know what i'm saying so make sure you have space but with, with that it can change the name of the bill like with this bill i'll show you a little later but uh, let's get into it so we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing now the finishing is pretty good but you don't want to change the name of the bill by taking the finishing too high so we're going to take the driving dunk to an 80 which is pretty good number man you know you will be able to finish really good and you can actually take it down to a 75 if you want to that's totally up to you as far as the layup it's going to go to a 71 on its own if you want more layup i totally understand because you can miss some layups on this game so putting your layup higher is um, not a uh, a problem in my opinion as far as the close shot we're going to get that to a 73 okay we're going to go ahead and get that standard dunk to a 75 for the people out there that want the Giannis dunk package. I think you need that 75 standard dunk. As far as the post control, we added a little post control on this bill. You know, just to put a little spin on the bill. And I would like for it to be higher, but this year when you take the post control up like that, it does change the name of the bill. So if you want a certain name in your post control or standard dunk is, or driving dunk is too high, it will change the name of the bill. And we're going to go down to the physicals. Now... I have a build with 80 speed, 75 acceleration. I have a build with 80, 83, 83 or something like that, or close to 85, 85. I have a build with 90 and 90, and then 90 and 90 is different. It's different for real. Okay, so with this build, we're going to do 85, 85, which I think is pretty good. Um, so on defense, you got speed. On offense, you got speed. So that's pretty good. As far as the strength, we're going to get that up to 84. Y'all know how I feel about strength. I very seldom take the strength under that amount. And um, the reason we stopped at 84 is because we can't get the post control like super high so we can get um, gold power, post powerhouse. So, you know, we just left it at 84. On the vertical, um, all you really need, well, you got a good shot blocking on this build. So we had to get the vertical up to at least a 74 so we can get high flying denial on silver. Okay. Now we we'll come back up. As you can see, we got post powerhouse. We got post support. Um, we got rise up. Um, we got post rises. So we're looking good with the finishing. But let's go ahead and get into the green bean. Make your girl scream bad. This build does have a 76 three point shot. Now, this is what I don't like about the build. You can't take the three point shot up too high because it will change the name of the build. So that's the only thing I really don't like about the build. Other than that, this build would be uh, um, super good, you know. But given the fact that your three point shot is a little low, and I know some people will probably take that plus five and put it on the three point shot. And guess what? It's going to change the name of the build. I think it's may, it may be a three point um, point forward or something like that. Um, you know, that's up to you guys on if you want to change the name of your build. So I just left it at 76 so we can get the pure point forward name. Well, point forward name. And the mid range shot, uh, you can leave it right there, but I took it to a 71. So you can get post fade feet numb. Um, not saying you're gonna use that badge, but you know, since we can get it, we might as well have it. Okay. As far as the um free throw, we have a 62 on the free throw, right? So like I said, the only thing I don't like is the shooting on this build. And as you can see, we don't have anything but bronze badges when it comes to shooting. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mom can see this video. And I need everybody mom to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Pass accuracy, we're going to go ahead and get that to an 89. An 89 pass accuracy does give us um, silver versatile visionary. Now, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can take it down. Um, I didn't take it down lower than the 87, um, but you probably can. 
you know sometimes um you get your pass accuracy to the 80s and sometimes you need the 87 to get the name but um i forgot what what's the lowest you can go but it don't matter because we have 89 pass accuracy which is some great passing man like you can pass better than a lot of point guards on this game as far as the ball handle we're going to do an 86 on that so we can get anchor assassin we got handle for days we got strong handles on hall of fame we got unpluggable on silver so you have some great badges on this build when it comes to getting your own shot you don't have to worry about nobody saying oh man let me let me cut let me do this no 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 we can dribble at the gate you feel me you get the rebound you can dribble you can bring the ball up the court you got break start on this build okay you got dimer so you should be good as far as the speed with ball we're going to do a 75 that does give us lightning lunch as you can see now if you want to take something up that's up to you um i don't necessarily know if it would change the name if you want more ball handle i know a lot of people want to dribble a little bit more so i totally understand that so if you need to take your ball handle or whatever up man go ahead and take it up it's your bill it's your grind it's your time and then you're going to spend your money on it so i wouldn't tell you to not do something you know what i'm saying but when i give you guys suggestions man i'd be wanting you guys to pay attention to what i'm saying because i have tested a lot of stuff out man i have multiple builds at different positions and different attributes so when i go out there and test something i try to give you guys a free game so you won't make the same mistake that i made because yes i did make some mistakes on builds and you know it can get better because when i first created my builds i didn't know about leaving the space open for the caps okay so that can come back to haunt you because if you don't leave the space open you can't get your um that that specific um category up any higher okay so with the defense let's talk about that this is what i want to talk about so with the perimeter defense we have 83 right uh, 84 would change the name 85 would change the name right so with the 83 on the perimeter defense if you want to take like plus two and put them on perimeter defense guess what it's going to change the name to a two-way point forward now we have the pure point forward and it will change the build name to a two-way point forward once you get those attributes and add them to your build so if that's something you want to do and change your name in the future that's fine but for this build to keep the name we have a 83 perimeter as you can see we got challenger on ball minutes pick dodger move but enforcer and all ball pass so yes we have some good badges as far as the interior defense taking it up too high would change the name of the build i think it's at like a Maybe a 71 and 72 does change the name to a two-way. So you got two options. You can change it with the perimeter and you can change it with the um, interior defense. But we can get the steel up pretty high on this build, right? So with the steel, we are going to get that to a 91. And that does give us gold glove and gold intercept. And y'all know how I feel about interceptor, man. They need to uh, nerf that a little bit, man. Intercept is too good, okay? As far as the block, we're going to get that up to a 78. That's all we really need, man. Uh, great shot blocking on this build. High flying denier, paint patroller, so you can block shots. As far as the rebound, we're going to take that up to an 80. I did that because we at the small forward position, right? 80 on offense, 65 on defense. Great speed on the build, great strength. Hey, man, let's get into the shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, Scottie Pippen, Jimmy Butler, OG, I think those are great comparisons, man. All three of those guys, now they may be taller. But um, the comparison is the spot on with this bill, okay? Point forward, that's the bill, I'm out of here. Charge!